directed by Shinji Iguchi and written by Iria Kiano, the two men that brought us Shin Godzilla. Now they're bringing us Shin Ultraman. The best way to explain my experience with this movie, that was interesting. It's not completely what I expected before watching the film, but I wasn't surprised that I genuinely really enjoyed the movie. So if you don't know how the movie tells its story, the best way to explain it is the movie just took round about six episodes from the original show, changed little bits of it, mushed them together, and that's the movie. It's not the type of movie that has an A and a B point, and we start with A and we end the movie for B, because there is an A point that ends very shortly after B, and then there is a C and a D, and you see, it can continue until, let's say, F. But between an A and an F, there wasn't really a connection. There wasn't an underlying villain that was hidden in the background. It was just a small period of story that the movie told, and it's very much taking the episodic route of the original show and just translate it to a movie. After Ultraman defeats one monster, there is a small little time skip and the other comes. There is connection, there is mentions of other monsters, but it's not day after day after day. It's let's say it's two days and then we skip a week and then we skip maybe three weeks. You see, it's an underlying continuous story that just tells little small portions of the inhabitants of this world. The movie itself follows the SSSP that were formed not that long ago and specifically Shinji Kaminaga being the host of Ultraman. Shinji is an interesting character because we don't really see a lot of his real self because we experience his original or human self just in the first couple of minutes of the movie but then when he and Ultraman fused or bond it's mainly Ultraman in the wheel and the Shinji Ultraman kind of character is very interesting because he doesn't really understand about humanity and how human compassion work and for some odd reason and the best way for him to learn about humanity is not to actually learn from them it's to actually learn from books but towards the course of the movie he understands that the best way to learn about humanity are from humans and now we have hero called Asami the newest member of SSSP, she kind of plays a love interest to Shinji, but strangely she has a lot more screen time alone than with Shinji. She's a great character. Through the time skips, you see the connection that at least her and Shinji develop and her and the rest of the SSP team develop. Even through the time skips, you can see the connection that were already built pretty much in those time skips. But weirdly, she's the one that gets more sexualized, not only with her slapping her own butt, but other people's butt. There is a moment that Shinji smells her and he goes around her and it's kind of weirdly funny and uncomfortable and there is a moment that she is big and there are photos of her underskirt and her big butt and I, I don't know, it's kind of funny but kind of weird at the same time I don't know really how to feel about it but yeah, great! Then there is Kimio Tamura Okay, this actor just need to do a Metal Hero reboot and be a part of the Go Ranger reboot and he is set for life. For goodness sake, this man has been literally in every tokusatsu reboot thing that was done in the last four years. It's kind of weird. He's the team leader with the chill vibe when they're in the office and they have little jokes and he has a weird little mascot on his table but when he's on the field he's all business. There is a moment that he finds out that Shinji is Ultraman and he takes the approach that every other defense team leader in an Ultra show would take. As a character, he was fine. He was literally the archetype of the defense team leader in an ultra show. They don't really get a lot of development and they just kind of most of the time there. They are there most of the time to bring mo emotional support to the other characters, to be the older person in the team. Then there is Akishi Sataki. 
he is the scientist guy of the team and for most of the movie he gets relegated to the side character role but towards the end he actually gets his moment he gets this oh we are doomed we can't really do a lot but through Shinji bringing him up he gets his moment and the final member of the team is Yubi Funbetty. She plays the biological expert of the team, but I think she has less of a role than anyone else. She's very much relegated to the sideline for most of the movie. She doesn't really get a lot except helping Akishi Sataki. And that's pretty much it for her character. She is very much this whim of a side character. The character that doesn't really get a lot of development if it was a show. So I kind of get it. But even with her not getting as much screen time and as much development, her interaction with the team were really fun. Let's talk about the other stuff about the movie. Let's talk about the fight scenes. They were great. Small hint of jank with the animation, but it fitted the original show. And from time to time, it can be played for laughs. So it's fine. On the talking sides, uh, it was very clear. It wasn't convoluted. Yeah, there were some bureaucracy talks and politic talks that I didn't got specifically around the Prime Minister and the higher-ups of the SSSP, but the movie was still fun. The movie was still actually a lot more funny than what I expected to be. And the movie had actually fun little stories, specifically surrounding Alien Zaraba and Alien Mephiles. The movie itself kind of changed some parts of the lore, specifically about Zeton and a specific culture that appears in the final episode. But I don't know really what to think about it because yeah how much i'm slightly upset about it if subara is fine with it i'm fine with it yeah there isn't a lot to talk about with this film it was very simple it was fun it was specifically what i expected in an ultraman film i don't want something to be dark and gritty i don't want something to be very serious I want something to pay homage to the original show because the original wasn't serious, it wasn't dark, it was very light, it was very fun. So yeah, I think I've said a lot more than what I expected to say about this movie and uh, if you can watch it legally in a theater, go watch it. If you ask me how I watched it? can tell you i i am under nda can't say it don't ask me sorry guys can't say so yeah if you've watched the film no matter how if you've watched it legally and you know what happened talk to me tell me down below what you thought about it i hope you enjoyed the video like and subscribe to my channel have a great rest of your day